Hello everybody, this is Ogreboy, and I'm going to be doing my review for the 2018 movie Hellfest. Um, the movie is uh, directed by Gregory Plotkin and uh, written by Seth M. Sherwood, Blair Butler, and Akila Cooper uh, from a story by William Pinnock, Christopher Say, and uh, Steven Susco. Um, the movie follows uh, a group of six friends uh, that go on uh, go to this carnival thing that called Hellfest. It's like an amusement park where they go through these different little mazes and everything. And as the movie goes on, they start being stalked by a person. At first, they think is just one of the the uh, people that are, are supposed to be. Uh, trying to scare them and everything but as the movie goes on they realize that this person's wanting to kill them and everything it's a pretty unique slasher movie kind of um the cast is pretty good uh amy forsyth plays uh natalie brian edwards plays her best friend brooke uh bex taylor klaus plays uh their other friend taylor um Brooke and Taylor are really good friends. Natalie doesn't really know her very well or like her very well, I don't think. Um, uh, Christian James plays Quinn, who is Brooke's boyfriend. Um, Matt Mercurio plays Asher, who is Taylor's boyfriend. And Robbie Attell plays Gavin, a guy that they're trying to hook Natalie up with. Um, they you can tell that they really like each other and everything and uh, it's kind of their first time really going out and hanging out and everything um, I think that Natalie had uh, originally lived in a dorm at the college with Brooke but uh, she ended up moving out for some reason I'm not, I can't exactly remember why I think they had some kind of falling out or something but uh, they or rekindling their friendship and everything. Um, the movie doesn't have much of a bi big, well-known cast. The only person, two people I recognized in this movie was uh, Bex Taylor Klaus, because uh, from the Scream TV show, and I thought she was really good in this. I liked her a lot in Scream. I liked her a lot more in this than I did the Scream show. I only got to see season one though, so I'm not sure if she was in season two. I think she was, but I'm not for sure. And uh, Tony Todd is in this, who's known as Candyman. He, he's in this for a really small time, like maybe five minutes or so, if that. And I was really disappointed with that part, but uh, because the, the marketing, they... they sold a lot of it on his, his appearance uh, trying to get people interested I think and everything and, and while he's not in it very much he, he uh, and, and he wasn't in it near as much as he should have been but he, he was still good in it for what little time we got him and Stephen Conroy plays the villain in this because it's a slasher movie he plays uh, the character's just name his name is the other um, and he's really uh, really kind of creepy he reminds me a lot of Michael Myers in a lot of ways um, the way he does his movements and stuff and there's parts where he's like tilting his head and stuff and it just he, he reminds me a lot of Michael Myers I think he would do a good job playing either Michael Myers or Jason if they ever make another movie and they needed someone, I think he would be a good choice. Um, the score is by Barry McCreary, who or Barry McCreary, who also did the score for uh, Ten Cloverfield Lane, and I think he did a really good job on the score for this movie. It had that good slasher feel to it and everything. Um, but now this movie was pretty pretty good for the most part. That I think some of the acting was a little bit over the top and could have been a little bit better, but um, 
it wasn't extremely bad. I've seen worse acting in other horror movies than this, but um, yeah, the, the actors were were all right. Um, and everything. Uh, I do think that a couple of the main characters, if they wouldn't have been in the movie, they wouldn't have really taken out too much for the story or anything. A couple of the boyfriends, um, they were mainly there just to get killed and everything, but uh, this movie doesn't have a very big kill count either. I think there's only like three people that die, or no, uh, technically five people because there's yeah, there's technically five people that die in this movie, so it's not a, not a very very big kill count, but it's still pretty good. Um, and the death scenes are pretty cool. That uh, um, they're not real real violent, but they they do a good job on that on the death scenes, and the practical effects are really great in this. And the, I love how they have like it has a lot of really cool sets and stuff that would make you has that carnival feeling and everything if you've ever been in like the haunted houses at at, at fairs or amusement parks and stuff like that it, you, it had that feeling and stuff um, and I really enjoyed that the atmosphere in this movie is really good and the cinematography is pretty good for the most part um, I don't like some of the lighting in it because there's parts where the lights are flashing really crazy and it just didn't look as cool, but I mean, it, it was pretty much what you would have expected in those kind of theme parks and stuff. But, um, yeah, it was Hellfest was a pretty good movie. I really wanted to see it in the theater, but I didn't get to because it didn't play anywhere near me. But, um, I finally saw it last night, and it, it, it was still a really good movie. I think it could have been a little bit better. And everything but I still enjoyed it I hope we get a sequel to it eventually this this could be the start of a good franchise if if they decide to do it um, I don't know how good it did in the theaters I don't know if it was a huge flop or mediocre hit or what um, but uh, I think it's good enough that it it could it could start at least a little franchise I don't know how many sequels I want to do but it'd be kind of cool if it did um, I'd like to see more of the, the, uh, of the other. I think he, he was an intimidating villain and everything. Um, and uh, anyway, I'd give Hellfest a 7.5 out of 10. Cause it was a pretty good movie for the most part. Like I said, some of the acting was a little bit off, and uh, I was disappointed about uh, Tony Todd not being. And it near as much as they promoted it to be but um, besides that it's still a fun movie there are a lot better slasher movies out there but seeing we don't get them as often nowadays as we used to I still enjoy this one quite a bit and everything so and it was still nice to get to see a slasher movie because uh, we don't get a lot of them anymore so but anyway uh, that's my review for Hellfest if there's any other movies you'd like me to to do a review for let me know in the comments and I'll get to it as quick as I can um, feel free to like comment and subscribe and um, if there's any top 10 lists or movie series rankings also I'll if you want me to let me know and I'll get to them as quick as I can and thank you and have a good day